Hello everyone, Daniel from Brothers N again. Um, uh, so uh, I want to do a quick video walkthrough of our um, upcoming features update. Um, so as you all know, uh, our focus, our Rather Zen team focus from this point until the end of the year is uh, very much on our content creation workflows. I know a lot of people people have been asking us like uh, um, expand more on SEO and uh, expand more on data on keyword research and all that part. But um, our vision since the beginning of, of um, our journey with Rider Zen has always been uh, optimizing the complete kind of uh, digital content workflows for anyone. And and in order to get that complete, we have to very, stay very focused on our mission. So, uh, I mean, of course, you are, you know, a lot of users are still saying that, oh, okay, we are not as good as phrase or not as good as that, this. And, and I we totally take that to heart. But I think one of the things that make us feel very confident about our future is um, we, with, of how much we know uh, of our capability in building a certain products that we know that would, would work best with your workflow. So um, in, a, in a way, when you see uh, these couple of new features, you will slowly see our progressions from um, the point of just a, a, a simple sort of layout, adding um, workflows to integration with things that are more a lot more complex into our tool, um, starting with uh, data summarizations. So this is one of the first step of NLP uh, integration into our tool. And it's, you, you will see more as, as I share with you in this, these features. So we break this, this goal of ours by the end of this year to, to, com to, to build a complete uh, high quality workflows from the start of, of the research process where you look for keywords, you you look for, you, you combine the keywords together, you group them, cluster them together, and then you can do this amazing sort of outline building and uh, include keywords that you really like and um, also um, good in, 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 in for your SEO and optimizing your SEO. And then you start writing. Right, so in just the content creation workflows, there's three steps that need optimization. Uh, the first would be the outlines building. So you will need to be able to really see your competitor in just one click. Um, and when you load up the competitor, you should be able to see all of the summarization of their, their content and their text for you to, to kind of choose which one, how to use your, you, you can build outlines. And the second step, which is keyword to includes, you should be able to not only just see the keyword using the NLP algorithm of ours, but also see it through the eyes of Google using their own Google and NLP um, API. So that is our next integration where you'll be able to see in Google's eyes, what are the sort of keywords and content that they have gone through um, in all of the competitors that were listed out. Right, so that will also be included in our next next update. I think so we're working on it right now. So, and the last part, the last stretch would be the con would be the content writing part, where um, of course you would like to see um, not only just the outlines, but you will be able to expand, write, um, see views, and 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 do AI writing with it. So that will be a complete sort of tool, according to our understanding, a complete workflows for a single user, right? And that is our focus. Single users is single solo workflow is our focus for 2021, right? And we want to make sure that from now until the end of the year, those are three things that we really want to make sure that we do it right and we do it well. Um, that has always been our motto, right? If we create something, we have to create with a lot of heart and uh, and and make sure that we do it with, with the, the utmost quality we could possibly put in. Uh, and you can see that reflecting in all of the products that we put in. So, um, so that's the that's a quick announcement. Um, uh, it's, uh, before I go through walkthrough, so this is the first step. Um, you can see uh, it's it's more on extraction and summarization. Uh, just these small little features. I'm sure once you start using, you'll feel your work flows now smooth up at least another fifty percent. You start to see, oh wow, this the the outlines builder now becomes so much more easier. Right for you to kind of pick and choose, um, and even get into insight when you were writing your stuff, you will be able to kind of reflect right away into your con competitors a lot easier than it was previously uh, with our our previous update version. All right, so that's it. Uh, we also have a uh, we're also going to be launching our rewards program, so you can earn your credit, your one time free credits. Uh, uh, in in this page, as you can see, is right up here onto the things under rewards. 
um, and um, you'll be able to see all the links to our uh, our other different platforms. So, I mean, we're new here, right? We, we just launched on June first. I mean, your loves you have gave us so much support and uh, so much feedback for us to be able to. And we would like to sort of uh, give back to you also. Um, and uh, this is sort of like an incentive uh, programs. Um, just kind of click on any of these links and uh, give us a, a, a reviews, an honest review, right? I mean, we're confident with 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 our with our team, with our products, with the things that we put up. So we'd love to hear your honest reviews onto any of these platforms. But any reviews will will give you a, um, a certain amount of credits. And if you finish all this, you will be able to earn up to two hundred fifty thousand Q credits. So that should be enough for you. that should last up for 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 a while. Um, uh, for for a long time all right so um that's the very quick update for overview right so you now kind of f go with us on along our journey uh until the end of the year right if we can be able to kind of finish anything earlier than that we'd like to still send spend some time to um uh spend some time to um uh to optimize on on the things that on the content creation workflows right um Okay, so now let's go into the updates. So smaller updates. Uh, first, we have Taiwan and uh, and Hong Kong on the list now. Yeah, so it's all here, right? So that's that. Um, now go to content creator. So the first thing is uh, we kind of add in a little bit uh, of uh, UX touch where you can close and open your project list. Um, it's easier for a smaller screen for you to kind of optimize this space. If, if, if you have a 13 inches screen, you'll see that um, now you have a lot more room to work with, uh, with your um, uh, with your project list here. All right, so um, that's the first thing. The second thing is uh, optimization on, some, on, on the summary part of the context. So let's go into this keyword, indoor plants, no sunlight, right? It's a long tail keyword in a, in a way. Uh, it's one of the keyword that I used last time when we, we, we find their, um, they, they, they have an amazing golden ratio. I think the search volume is quite high, but own title is very low, as you can see uh, over here. So what we, what we uh, want to kind of look for is now we, uh, we just upgrade our function. The first thing is that we combine word count and recommended list. Why? We need to leave some room here for our future, which coming up, up the next update when we integrate with Google NLP. That will be a very exciting update. It's going to be a long walkthrough with you guys on that one. But uh, but anyway, you can see here, if you now click on any of the two, click on any of the um, uh, competitor, um, you'll be able to see the, la the, the outlines now um, show very clearly and more, much more organized than previously, uh, how it was built previously, right? Previously, uh, when we weren't able to extract this much data and also we weren't able to summarize the content within each of the paragraph that was written by your competitor and make it a lot harder for you to study what they're writing about. So with this one, as you can see, 40 best indoor plants that don't need sunlight. Um, first of all, you will see the, um, the title right and then you have the description so you click on the title or the description it will automatically go into this two function here h1 is also going to your title we we leave it this way so that it will be easier for uh for you to so i mean some some website would have title and h1 is the same right some are not right so you can choose either that two as a title for you so you can now right away fill in your description um easier much easier than last time when you were having to kind of copy and paste second thing is a perfect sort of like outlines um scan through structure of this content you have h2 you have h3 h3 so all of these um plans that was listed here mm -hmm. and under each of this we have this short kind of um list of the summarization of the paragraph Devil Ivy, his name is for his ability to choke out other plants in nature to grow vines even in worse condition. They are best in hanging pot or potted on a desk. As you wrote out here, same thing, H2, which is all the tips. And now H3, what plants need least amount, what least. So as you, you see, 
in just a short scheme of just look through, you'll be able to kind of know right away your competitor what they are writing about, and the summarization based on that content. Um, so the 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 more details, the layout of the of the competitor, the easier it is for you to really build your own sort of um, strategy. So um, another update here is as you click on any of this, of uh, the load up on the list will go directly into that last part. That, that end part here. So, and if you if it's H3, over here will be H3, right? So if you list, it's gonna be list. So it's much easier for you to be like, if you really like this part, you could add that directly into your outlines, right? And then you can use this listed up in, in the outlines to send it to your writer so the writer could easily write according to these outlines you already built. And it takes you literally just like a minute, like. Third, I mean, for me, it's 15 seconds to kind of scan through and say, oh, I love this. I love this S3, easiest house band to take care of. And I, you know, I like this idea and I can add some more too, if you like, right? Um, through other competitor, if, if, if that's something you, you look into as well. So as you see, see the layouts are extremely, extremely uh, useful uh, for your work. All right, so that's first, very exciting. Um, you know, it looks simple, but uh, I'm sure once you start using, you will, you, you, you right away feel the, the huge difference from our previous version to this version, right? Second thing is suggest the highlights you have. Um, now we have Reddit, also add on to it, same thing. So I'm not gonna go too much into it. So that's the first part, which is the outline to use, right? I'll go on to this uh, keywords. Uh, not much here. Um, um, some exciting feature are coming in next updates where with our integration with Google NLP. Um, so stay tuned for that. It will it's that's really really cool um it's it's something uh, we've been thinking of doing for a while now and um and we've been toying with this for our tech team has been toying with it for for at least a month time um to figure out how to best optimize it into this content creation workflows and also make it simple and easy to use you know you don't want to give out too much data that's not our philosophy our philosophy is to make things a lot simpler for you i mean the end goal is always to write a, bit, a piece of content that can break easiest. The, the, the goal is not to read more data. The goal is to get that done, right? So that's why a lot of people are asking us to put more data, more data, more data. More data only make you feel harder to make a decision, right? The best is optimized data, right? Showing only what's needed. You only need about 20% of quality data in order to make a really, really good decision. Right, the rest is more of your own sort of fixed states and, 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 and adjustment and whatnot. Right, that's our, our philosophy since the beginning of, of, of building any product. Right, so as you can see, it's still the same, but we changed the usage to one. Uh, according to some feedback, the, 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 uh, the previous usage was five, which is quite a lot, and it's harder for you to, to do fixing. So we changed to one, so it's easier for you. Um, so that's it for the keyword include. Nothing too fancy here. So in here, um, the the last piece, content writing, a uh, few things. One is over our competitor labs, you are now also able to do the same thing. You click on process. The layout is all here. You can click on it and there is um, summarization part for you to see. Um, and in here, now you really can, when you share, you really could actually allow your writer to see whether you want the writer to, to also study your competitor or see the questions. Right, you could also set that in the, the in the link share as well. So once you do this, it's actually according to how you feel about it, right? Why we want to set it this way is because eventually it will also be AI writing, and we want to to you to have the right to feel okay. I want my I don't want my writer to kind of access any of this. I want them to write directly from the outlines I already built and include all the keywords I want because I want originality uh, as the highlight of my piece of, rock, of content. So you can you can do that now. You know, you could slowly kind of um, build that in and have the right to sort of allow your writer to see or not to see or use or not to use, right? And later on with AI writing is when you work with other team member, you if you work with freelancer, you definitely don't want them to use the AI writing part, right? But if you work with your team member, you probably want to, to kind of allow it so that they We'll be able to kind of work around that, right? So same with the competitor. Um, nothing much here. Uh, we kind of give. Uh, we kind of change the the fonts a little bit. Um, we used our original fonts here, but you can also always change your fonts anywhere um, 
in here you have Helvetica, you have Arial, which is your um, common fonts used for your writing. So all in here, very easy to use. Uh, you know, in future updates, we'll also update this text editor. Slowly, will be more advanced. You know, I know um, uh, a lot of people are asking us like uh, this uh, this part where it's you can click right click on it and you can so uh, paste uh, copy paste and all that instead of using it by your by your um, keyboard. But it will it, it will come. It will come. Those are all our, our focus in the next uh, few months. So like like i said you know building a product is easy but building a very quality product is it takes a lot of a lot of, of of effort right and that's what we're after we're, we're not after building some uh, something that is so moderate and um and 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 doesn't provide quality so uh second update here is our lives uh, editing for uh plagiarism checker so in the previous version you have to go directly into the detail report and it will take you into our plagiarism tool but with this update you are now can be able to kind of check uh plagiarism check on directly into this site so over here let's let's say that it will appear a, a button here for you is the same button when you click on it there'll be two options one is for your quick view report and one is your detail report over here so with quick view report you can access it right here um, on the screen on the left side, but for the detail report, it will take you to plagiarism checker. So click on uh, quick view. We will highlight for you right away which statement is is uh, plagiarized and which one is not. Right. So as you can see, I kind of copy this on the web. So it right away show me twelve matches from two sources. And if you click on one, it will highlight for you which statement that is on the text editor for you to kind of do editing on it right away live editing and also will show you the source where it come from right and you can see it here here so highlights in red right so this is very handy for anyone who start working on it and also feel like oh man i have to go back and forth to kind of fix this on it also it's all live now so once you're done with the fixing um just simply check click check again because we need to kind of go through the whole things in order to kind of give you a better report um uh we, it's, it's not live right it has to take action because each time like this we have to count as limit on on your account so so that's that it's very exciting this one is like smaller update but it it, it will save your workflows a tons of time All right so i think that's it um uh, this update that's it but uh the next update will come a bit shorter because we're already working on maybe everything we are seventy percent through. Uh, so hopefully it will come soon, sooner than than later. Uh, but we like to surprise people, so look forward to share with you more in the next update. See you guys.